Hey guys, it's Charlotte from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. My goodness, it's been a hot minute since I have been back creating a video for you guys. Um, life just kind of again got in the way and yeah, I'm just able to pop in here now and do some playing. Um, I know I need to get to my mermaid journal and finish that, but I need to get back into the groove because I've been away for so long. So I thought I would play with this jelly print today or this gel print and I bought this for myself for my birthday. I have some smaller ones but I wanted a bigger one so that I could create some fun pages for journals. Let's um let's go ahead and get started and see what we can create. So I'm going to open this up again. I haven't used this before. I bought it last month for my birthday and whew, just haven't played with it. So there we go. Okay. So I need to take off one of these plastic sheets and set that to the side. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I just can't wait to play. Okay, so let's stick this. How do I want to do this? Maybe this way. And it should stick nicely to my glass mat so that it's not going to go running away on me, which is nice. Peel this top layer off. Now, there's ways that people will prime these. I'm not going to. I'm just going to, well, I guess I'm kind of priming it with oils in my hands. But let's just go ahead and slap some paint down on here and see what we can create. I'm going to move these off to the side. All right, I just have a big bin here of all sorts of different types of um, acrylic paints. So I have Craft Smart which is from Michael's. I have some of these Americanas, which are likely from the dollar store, to tell you the truth. Um, this one, acrylic paint, metallic, color shift. Not sure where I got this one from, but it's nice metallic. So yeah, we'll just kind of play around with what we have and see what we can create. I don't really have anything in mind, but that's, um, oops, that's stuck to my plate. Let's go ahead and let's say, let's use this one. That'll be fun. It's kind of like an avocado. It's got no no label on it, but I think it is one of these Craft Smart ones. Uh, what other color? Maybe we could do an orange. Yeah, let's do these. Let's see what we can come up with. And basically, we are just going to, maybe I'll shake this up a bit. Basically, we are just going to squirt some on. Just take my brayer here and just put a thin, oop, thin layer. I'm not really a, a pro at this by any means. It's just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to play and see what we can create. I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to use this as my roll off sheets. I'm going to have this kind of over here and then I'll just, just put a nice layer down here and then kind of roll off. Oops. There we go. There's some orange and then we'll shake this up. I have some, I don't really like those lines in there. Let's try that again. There we go. Beautiful avocado. Get some of that on there. Get some paint on me because it's not a fun crafting time until you get messy. There we go. So I hope everyone's doing well today. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here. I was just outside playing football with my family, just tossing the football around. It was fun. I wanted to come in and do I have a hair on there? Oh well, it'll give it texture. Um, yeah, just wanted to come in and do some playing because it's been forever since I've been able to craft in my craft room. I've been obviously, when I'm working from home, I'm working in here on my legal stuff, but um, yeah, I just haven't, haven't had a time to play. Okay, so I have some a big uh, container here full of stencils that I'm going to take a look at and we'll see what we can find that might be nice. Um, let's see. 
Um, I just got this one from Michael's. It was on clearance for five dollars. Those are kind of fun. I like that one. Let's take a look at this. Let's open this up. Let's see what it's all about. Nice Martha Stewart one. Sorry, that's probably like really loud for you guys too. Let's see. Um, okay, uh, pull that off of there. Oh, whoops. Well, they come apart. Okay, well that might not be a bad thing. Um, let me, okay, this one's gonna come apart. So let's pull this off and we'll use it separately. It's got this, yeah, it's just, um, just stuck together with tape. I thought it was all one piece, but no, it's just stuck together with tape. So let's go ahead and peel that off. And it feels like there's more sticky tape on this side. There it is. It's the, oh, bugger. I hate that when the tape leaves the adhesive stickiness. And then this tape is kind of all over the actual oh, what's going on here weird you guys the um oh it's adhesive oh well i didn't read that correctly what does it say one sheet uh sorry i'm just looking at this guys adhesive laser cut okay so it does have hmm okay well we're not going to use it as an adhesive or take the adhesive off. Let's just, oh, I'm getting bubbles. So well, that's pretty cool. We'll let that happen. That would be kind of cool. Um, I was going to put this on here. But now I'm second guessing that because I really kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some bubbling happening. Um, let's just do this. Let's just go ahead. Let's not overthink it. Lay our paper down. We can lay some other stencils over top. And just see what we can create. Let's create some pages today. Get back in the creative groove of it all. Um, I need, I'm gonna use my card here just to go over the back. So what are you guys up to today? What are you creating? Are you, are you in your craft rooms, crafting along with me? Or are you getting ready for bed, just kind of relaxing with some videos? I like to do both. I like to watch videos sometimes when I craft. And then uh, most of the time, though, I end up watching them, watching the YouTube videos that I like to watch right before I go to bed. Just kind of a nice way to relax. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Look at that. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, well, we'll let that dry. And let's see. Do I have any? I'm just looking to see if I have some blank tags or anything. I don't. I don't. Um, that's okay. We'll use our our brayer page and see if we can get some more of this up off the edges. Oh, I have two pages here. There we go. So yeah, not really on that pass, but that's okay. So yeah, do you guys like to do jelly printing? Have you tried it? Probably more experienced at it than I am. Um, what else? We have a darker green. That might be fun. And I kind of have this folk art. It's kind of a different orange than the one that we were playing with. But let's give it a go. Let's try again. See what else we get. That on there. What I like about this is it it doesn't have to be perfect. The kind of the grungier the better, right? This one. Okay. And then let's put some of this 
screen on. It's probably more than enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got lots going on here. That's okay, kind of blend that in. And then we'll just layer it off. And then again, we're kind of creating another fun page just with our, our wipe off sheet here. Um, I'm just going to grab my scissors. Give me one second, guys. Uh, scissors, scissors, scissors will work. And I'm just, I have something over here that I want to play with. Grab a piece of this stuff. Play with some bubble wrap. Let's see what kind of texture this gives us. Might be fun, right? Put that down. Okay, I think that's good. I'll peel this off. Ooh, lay that! I love it! I love it! I love it! Okay, let's put this on here. Maybe this way. Okay, we'll just kind of dry this off a bit on our paper and there we go. Look at that. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, we'll let this dry. Now we'll take this piece of paper and put it on here. Grab our card. See what we make out of this. All right, and you'll have to let me know. Are you guys one of the people who likes to clean off your jelly plates completely when you're done, or do you leave paint on it and just let it let it continue to pull up on your next pieces? I'm kind of a little bit of both. I like to kind of keep my tools clean, but I know that artistically you get better prints when there's, you know, all sorts of different things that come up. So I'm going to try not to clean this one off. I cleaned my other ones off, but I thought I'll leave this one and we'll just see what else other fun things. Look at that. That's fun. Bubble wrap. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'm going to end up just leaving this one and whatever pulls up, pulls up. I'm going to leave the oranges and, and the green on there. Let's go for something else now. Let's try this over here. Let's try some blue. Do I have much of that left? My daughter and her friend were painting last. So ultra deep blue and ultra marine blue. Let's try this one. It's almost empty. Ooh, and let's try this, this um, magenta. It's a, a, is it metallic? No, not really, but it's a beautiful magenta. Let's try these two colors together and see what we get. Let's put the blue here, maybe here. And, ooh, fun, 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 fun. Um, okay. going to be one wild piece on over here. Okay, then magenta. Let's see, come on out. I am looking forward to next weekend. What we were supposed to go to the, um, going to go to the flea market today and then maybe the zoo, but I forgot my daughter had dance pictures and it worked out because then we did dance pictures and then my husband got got some of the yard kind of sorted out you know getting the water turned back on and watering the trees and you know all that sort of stuff that you got to do and 
beginning of spring now that we have some nice weather. So let's just muddle this all together and see what we get. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to next weekend when I can go to the flea market because I think there'll be some fun things there to do. Of course, there's the, you know, the fruit and vegetable market and well, what do we want to do here? Um, yeah, so sorry, I'm just looking around at some tools I have maybe to make some marks on there. Maybe. Let's go ahead and use a sample. Um, kind of like this one from Pink and Maine. This is the Mandala stencil. And uh, I, let, I use this with my, um, oh, what do you call them? Alcohol inks. And it, that was a lot of fun to play with. And then, uh, of course, it made beautiful, beautiful colors on my stencil. I didn't bother cleaning it off. I thought, eh, just makes it look pretty. So what if we, yeah, put this in the middle, like so. And then let's try doing this. See what we get here. Yeah, I need to find other things to make fun textures. I don't have too many things, but we can use burlap and um, let me just see here. I'm just going to quickly check my drawer. I thought I had some sculpty stuff that I could have used. I suppose you could use stamps too. Yeah, I have this, these kind of little these these little sculpty tools that you use, I guess, with um, the Fimo or whatever, or sculpty, I guess. So, but I like this. I think that would be fun. Let's try using that on something. Right, let's peel this up. See what we get. Ooh, ooh. Well, that's kind of fun. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, we'll set that aside. And again, if you don't like how these pages turn out, you simply just go ahead and you can tear them up and use them for collage and collage potter or what have you. Cut them up into tags or put something on there. Okay, I'm gonna just pull this stencil off carefully. And then this stencil should be able to make some markings on this paper here with it. See that work? Well, a little bit. A little bit. I think I got more in my hands than I did on the um, on the paper. I know Gaila Gastinelli uses uh, gloves in a bottle. She says it works really well. I, I don't have any. I'm just going to get dirty. Why not? Okay, let's try. Seeing what we get, pulling up just what's left on here. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, this weekend, what did we do? Um, um, I went out yesterday with my mom and my son and we just did an errand for my mom and then we went to a couple craft stores and I got a few things. Um, I want to start on my Japanese journal or oriental journal or whatever you want to call it. Asian themed. And uh, pull this up. Ooh, 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 I like that. Um, so yeah, I'll have to start on that next. Look at that. It's kind of fun. Definitely need more on that, but I like that. I like how that turned out with the green and the and the. Well, it's purple now because you mixed the magenta and the blue, but yeah, it's pretty. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, what else do we want? Let's use some metallics, it's like this beautiful amethyst. I haven't opened it yet, so let's go ahead and open it. Who doesn't want some metallic paint, right? Do I have any other metallic paints that would go well? 
Well, we could use this blue. Sapphire. Ooh, amethyst and sapphire. Yeah, let's try those. I know they're kind of similar colors that we just used, but let's let's give it a go. Nothing says we can't reuse colors. Um do do do. Let's put one here, one here. Ooh, one here. Pretty. And then let's just go ahead. And ooh, I can just see the shimmering on here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but pretty. Let me put one here. Ooh, I like that. Lots of sparkle on here. Okay. Good. Let's take this off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash that off. Like, look at me. <laughs> it just means I'm having fun, right? Okay. Where do we want to start? Let's just start here. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Definitely the blue is kind of taken over, but it's okay. comes up there. Okay. Move that off. Um, let's go ahead and use this and just kind of make some make some marks on here and see what we kind of kind of get. There we go. Okay, another piece of paper. Lay that down. Yeah, just thought today would be a good day to make a little bit of a mess, have a play, nothing really too structured, and then I kind of get into the groove of creativity again, and then I'll work on some ephemera for the Mermaid Journal. Fun, fun. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, I like that. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. You guys see that? So you can't, you can sort of see the mark making. You guys see that? It almost did its own little weird type of thing. Like here you can see, see the marks, but here it's almost like, um, honestly reminds me of zebra markings right can you guys see that super fun i like that that's gonna need more on it i think for sure but pretty cool like it and then look this is fun this is gonna pull up some beauty like can you see that it's almost like zebra markings it's so cool Let's see what we get That's what I love about this is you just never know. You never know what's going to end up coming up on here. And this is just, I'm just using copier paper. Nothing really fancy, just... I'm sure there's probably better papers you could use for this, but this is doing just fine for me. Okay, maybe pull it up on this side now. Go this way and see. <gasps> like, I like, I like. See if I can get a little bit more of that pulled up. Cool. It's almost like you can see part of the doily markings in there as well on this one. Can you guys see that? Hold it up just a bit. Isn't that cool? This I could definitely use, I think, in the mermaid journal. Could use this for ephemera, like um, use it on a tag or something. Cover up a tag. Oh, I can yeah, I can see the doily markings. Beautiful, fun. Okay, just gonna grab a drink here. Okay, 
what do we want to do next? Pink and teal. I'm feeling pink and teal. That's really what I'm feeling right now. Look at this piece. That's fun. Let's see if I can pull up any more here. Oh yeah, oh, that cleaned it up a bit. Super fun. Okay, pink and teal. So this is acrylic, the pink for crafters, deep turquoise. Turquoise, not teal, turquoise. What's the difference? I don't know. We want pink. This is pink blast, a gloss acrylic paint. Hmm. Do I have any other pink? I don't think so. Um, Michael's here in Canada had a whole bunch of these craft smart. They were uh, a thing of 48 in a box or like in a little kind of crate or whatever you have them. Um, and they were on in the clearance section for $29, I think. They were regularly 49 so I want to say about 50% off. I didn't grab any at the time. I might go back and grab some because I thought I had more paints than this. And then I actually kind of forgot that my daughter had had been using them as well. So they're, I mean, I still have quite a few in here, but you can always use more, right? Let's use this pink blast. Let's let's just go for it. Let's see what, it, what happens. I don't have any other pink, so just use that. Um, what if we did... Oops, some dried glue crusties, or not glue, um, paint crusties. What happens if we do that? And do this. It's like bubblegum pink. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. How do we want to brayer this through? Let's just go. See what happens. Definitely have more than enough paint on here. I think I have too much. Might have too much. Oh well. It's just paint and paper. We can't make too big of a. Big of a muddle here. Okay. There we go. Bring that over to the edge, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Um, to do what else do we have? Um, what is this? Another Martha Stewart one. These are just kind of... Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, what else? What else do we have to play with? I don't have any like really big stencils. Just kind of smaller ones. Mostly, mostly use them for like smaller tags or cards. Let's try. I don't think I've used this one yet. Two piece lifesaver six by six stencil. Let's kind of use these circles maybe. That might be fun. What is this one? This one is photo play. So yeah, this is layered stencils. You can layer them together to get that kind of lifesaver look. Um, I'm gonna use this one. And I know it's not gonna cover the whole thing, but I think that's okay. Let's just go ahead and pop it right there. Okay. And get another piece of paper and throw that on top. I definitely have too much paint on there right now, but 
That's that's okay. That is okay. Where is my there it is my card? Alright. Yeah, I think I like um sometimes just coming into the craft room here and not really having too much of a plan because then it allows you to kind of be more creative to a certain degree, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't really it gives you an opportunity just to explore. Explore your products and your your supplies and you don't really feel like you have to create something magnificent. You can just kind of see oh yeah way too much paint. Just kind of see what happens when you put stuff together. Yeah that one was super wet. That was super wet. I mean that that's some kind of cool markings. But yeah, really wet. Okay. Let's figure out where I'm gonna put this. Kind of running out of room. Oh yeah, and I got a whole bunch of paint. I don't know if you can see it's just dripped down the sides here. Um now we need this. Okay, it's, it's funny. I think it's when the, the paper gets wet, it wrinkles, and it's causing these these little um, lines. It's really kind of cool. Okay. I'm going to have to take these upstairs to, to wash them off. Um, mm -hmm. Here's a piece of paper. Oh, this is a different... No, it's not. Just two pieces together felt different. Okay. Head. All right. We got how many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be eight. So that's not bad. Eight of them. It's okay. Okay. Let's pull this up this way. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Again, yeah, we'll probably have to add more stuff to this and once it dries, again, bring this out and layer it more. Um, where to put that? Right there. Let's see. One more. One more pull out of this, I think. And we'll take a look at what we've got, and then I will have to clean up <laughs> before all of this dries too crazily. Okay, what are we going to get here? Anything exciting? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, look, it's still pulling up some of that dark blue there. That's fun. Okay, well, let's take a look. side and then we'll just take a look at what we managed to pull and then we'll kind of just call that a video like I said it's just a, a quick video to see some playing and um, I need to pull a towel though so I can this is just really runny on my <laughs> on my mat here just so I don't dip anything into this big blob of paint that I don't want All right. You know you're having fun when your hands look like this, right? That's a good time. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. So, we kind of started off with these. So this is our first one. Obviously we need, need to do more stuff and it's still, still damp so I want to let it dry. And we'll kind of figure out some more things to do with it. But I like how that those little air bubbles kind of created, um, leaving little white kind of bubbly marks. That's fun. And then we did this one with the um, bubble wrap. That was fun. Created a nice fun texture. Then we have. Who else do we have here? We have this one here with the mandala. That's pretty. 
Again, still wet. And then we have this one that we pulled up. Again, kind of like the little zebra lines. It's definitely shiny. You can kind of see the doily print on that. And this one, yeah, it really kind of gives me ocean vibes. Yeah, that's fun. Really metallic and sparkly shiny. A little bit of that orange, which is cool. I like that. Then we have this one. Uh, yeah, I kind of like how those colors kind of came up together. That's fun. We might do some doodling or what have you on these. And then these are kind of our last ones that we did. Pull these over. Definitely wet. Very wet these ones are. And then... This one kind of a clean off. And then of course we've got our, <laughs> our, uh, that's super wet. Um, our brayered page. Um, sorry. It, it, yeah, I can't really see it because it's so wet. But I mean, that's, that's fun too, right? With just, uh, just your clean up piece of paper. That can always be, be fun as well with the different stuff that you can make with it. So... I know it probably wasn't a super exciting video, but I just thought I'd come on and play and bring you guys along. So thanks so much for joining me for today. Um, I will be back for the next video working on the Mermaid Journal. So thanks so much guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and P.S. I love you.